Hey babes, hello, hello, hello. So today I am going to be doing a channeling session for the three friends and their name are, I'm looking at their names here, um, Ricky Johnson, 38 years old, Clayton McGinney, McGinney, I hope I'm saying that right, probably butchering it and I apologize in advance, uh, 36 years old and then David Harrington, uh, age 37 years old. And the person's house that they passed away is Jordan Willis and they're from Kansas City and I've done an ITC on them already so I just want to see what I get I don't know so got my little handy dandy pen I'm just gonna try to relax I have a lot on my brain and I should dump right now but I'm gonna try not to do that this time I'm definitely there. There's definitely a party. I could I could see the party. Hold on. <coughs> what is that? <sighs> I feel like one of them is showing me around. I could see like these sofas. I could see like a doorway, like a hallway. Something about a glass. Is that a cup? It might be a cup. It's either a vase or a cup. Hold on. See like an end table. There is a lot of alcohol. I can actually smell it. There is a lot of alcohol. I'm asking like can we get can we get to the main part of it? I'm sorry, it's taking a little while, but I am seeing stuff, so give me a second. It's just I just don't feel like it's relevant yet. Like it's relevant, but it, it, he's just like showing me around like in the kitchen I could see um, one, one, one or two I think it might be two people coming in that is part of the three people that passed away okay I can hear him tell me he's telling me Whew. He's like pointing over in the corner and saying that the guy whose house it is, it's like he's already acting sketchy. Like I, I'm getting that the man is taking pills already. And that's why he didn't, he didn't, he said, you have to see that. Okay. So the party's like a party right now and he's already taking something. I think this is like pills, allegedly, right? Um, he still has me looking at him. He's not the guy. The guy's not acting like sloppily drunk.
but he is drinking and he's taking something else. See, he was being weird. He was being pushy. The guy was being weird. They were like weirded out by him. Like his vibes were different. I want to know about that guy. Only because there's, there's another guy, right? And I did a video... And I called him out. Oh, Jordan. Jordan, the guy who owns the house. I called him out saying, you're gaslighting. And this is gaslighting 101. Like, I don't buy it. And I see it. It's like, okay. So, Jordan Willis claims, allegedly, that there's another guy, a fourth man. And that he stayed behind with the other three guys after he went to bed and that's not the truth that's not the truth okay um and i'm being told to tell it like that like that's not the truth okay so let me try to do this again it's taking me a little longer but that's okay. I have a lot in my brain right now and I'm stressed out. So <laughs> I'm trying. See, there, I do see Jordan going upstairs, but he came back down. It wasn't like he stayed up there long either. Like long enough to say, hey, I went to bed. It wasn't like that. Hold on. See, it's weird. This is where I'm, I'm, it's weird. I can see, allegedly, I can see pills in a cup, but I can also see something else that's not a pill in the cup. That's more like a, I have to touch you with it. I don't know if this is like a, oh, what is that? I want to say like a, like almost like an injection, but it, it's, it's almost like on a band aid, like a, like a sticker, like a, like a, a press it in you. It's, it's different. I, I really don't know what this is. I've never seen nothing like it. It makes me feel like a band aid, but it makes me feel like an injection, but it makes me feel like, I don't know like paper I don't I don't get it oh, it's making me very calm oh they feel very cold I feel like they knew something was wrong But none of them could really react. Whatever hit them, hit them fast. I see one guy, he's, he's sitting on the couch. I see another guy and I, I think he was on a chair and fell off the chair. 
The other guy is on the ground too, but I don't think he was sitting. I think he was standing. And I'm not sure if this sticker injection thingy, I don't know if it was after the pill, after they drank something, I think they felt really funny. And then that sticker thing came. There was a, it's, I swear, it's like a whole, it's like a derma roller. Like, you know how we have a whole bunch of little tiny itty bitty needles? But it's like on a sticker. I don't get that. But what the f <laughs> It makes me very cold every time I mention it. Um. They were actually in the house for a while like that on the floor. I really, he, he dragged, he drug them out there in different areas. He, the two people, there's two people on the floor in the house that he takes outside and he don't carry them. He, he just, it's, it's a drag. It's a drag. It wasn't easy either. I could see him sweating, but it's cold. I mean, I, I don't need this detail, but it's like I can, he trips, he trips. Takes him out that way. I could see him come like into the house, like a big door, a like glass. And it's like, um, he's sweating and huffing and puffing. He's going over to the the third person on, like he's still on the couch. Whoa. He's almost like frozen solid, like in the house on the, on the couch. Cause I can see like he tries to move him and he stays in that position. Oh, this make me suck. Hold on. Oh, man. I'm really nauseous. Hold on. Mm. I can, I can see like, he can't move him the way, oh, the way the other two, he can't do the same thing. I don't know if this is from whatever was given to them or if this is like a rigor mortis. I don't, I'm not sure, but it feels more like a rigor mortis, like, like stiffened, like solid, like not frozen. Just solid. And when he move him. So he has to like. Oh I don't want to do this. He has to like. Like this. And the legs are here. He carries them out like that. 
He couldn't carry him far. He's still right there, like, I will say 30 feet, maybe, I don't know. 30 feet away from where he was originally sitting is where he's at. Maybe not even 30 feet. He couldn't carry him far at all. He couldn't drag him. It wasn't working. He's he puts him down right on on the outside, and he comes back in and he goes in the kitchen. I could see that. And he takes more stuff. It's not the same stuff that he's given to these people. Oh, my tummy growled. Sorry. It's not the same stuff. I don't know what this is. I do believe it's a drug. Some type of drug. I just don't know what. But he's, he's popping pills. And drinking. He's moving around as if nothing happened. Like... Nothing was phased. Everything was normal. Everything he just did was completely normal. Like, not phased. Not there. Just soulless. Just soulless. I'm not saying that he's into dark things, like, magic-wise. Um, but there are dark things that are attached to him. There's a lot of spiritual work going on. I'm hearing not just in that home. There, it's like everywhere. I know. Um, I can confirm that, that that fourth person was not there when all that happened. Not a, and, and it wasn't from. Like they didn't get whatever was in that cup. In, in their cups or whatever was in that bottle and they poured into their cups they did not get it from that man that came straight from his his place and I think that's what he did when he went upstairs because it wasn't long enough he wasn't upstairs long enough he wasn't up there long enough for it to be um, oh I was going to bed oh I was you know checking emails on my computer it wasn't that long it was like up and down it wasn't even time for like a bathroom break it's like he went somewhere he knew exactly what he was getting he grabbed it and he came back down that's what it was like it wasn't like I went to the bathroom I washed my hands it wasn't like that it was it was very quick he went up he came down and that was not given from that fourth man and that fourth man has nothing to do with that nothing and that's why I knew from the beginning it, it was saying um ooh, it was saying um when I first heard it, I was like, no, that's gaslighting right there. I felt the energy immediately. That was gaslighting. Whew. Um, how long has it been? Okay, 20 minutes exact. Okay. Um, my phone's not working. I had to cancel like four appointments today. And everything is stressing me out. And I know it's because I'm... I know I'm doing the right thing, you know? So, I guess what comes with it is what comes with it. And I'm okay with that, I guess, you know? It's rough. It's not easy. But I'm still here. <laughs> I love you, babes.